Oh, yeah, he's warping in the robotics suit as well, so. It's gonna be interesting. He kind of aggressively moved up, saw two stalkers, did not advance. Uh oh. Getting a little bit of a lag. He didn't advance. Why he didn't? Nobody knows. Nobody but that guy knows. I mean, you go up against two stalkers and you don't attack, you have fucking six stalkers in a Zilla. What's wrong with you? And this is a just kind of interesting. Brings his Zilla back. Zilots. As far as Zilots. While he was attacking these six rocks. No longer. He's got four. He's got six in the Zilot. What's he doing? Now he's got five. But he's still gonna win with six. He's pushing them back though. He is. The thing he doesn't know is these Zilots are gonna attack him. It never gets this one. That's some pretty significant damage. So he's gonna be able to hold that off for now. He's got a pylon, a sneaky little pylon. He's just warping his heel up. Warping in the heel up. He's got his first immortal on the way. However, maybe he also has his first immortal on the way. So this is gonna be kind of a, a little bit of a stalemate type uh, situation here. Stalemate the situation. Check out the income. He has more probes, 27 to 22. He's got that income advantage. That's gonna, that's gonna pull him ahead. Definitely gonna pull him ahead. So Nevergas needs to be pumping more probes, trying to boost in those probes out. And uh, also another disadvantage he has, he has three gates. Nevergas has two. Um, they're dead even in supply though. Dead even. Dead even. army beats this, right there, that's that immortal, versus that immortal, two thoughts, um, observer coming in, two more gateways, which is a wise move, but unfortunately, he still has the economic advantage, he's had probe lead forever now. That's really putting him ahead. If never guess made five more probes, um, yeah, he'd be a lot safer. Fortunately, he's got two more gateways, just like never guess has, except he has five now. But never guess is expanding. Ooh, he's got those observers. So he's trying to close, or I mean those probes. He's trying to close the gap. Economically, and if you can hold on and just catch up economically, he might be a little safe. Um, I'm not sure he's going to be able to win, he's going to have to back up. And this puts his expansion in danger. He's working in a couple. Um, no plans to have an immortal in. This is a fatal mistake. He's got 500 I guess that he's not using. He really should have brought some, um, warping sentries. He should have brought some sentries in. Because, you know, that's a good gas dump. And it'll save minerals. So, uh, he should be warping these, warping in units, but... Oh, there he is. Open these up. Now he's, uh, kiting on the odds to make his armies a little more easy. Unfortunately, he's killing his bio, that's gonna hurt him. The cap on the kids, but his army's not that big at all. Look at us. Die, we go here. 
but they can push this off. They're killing probes, and that's not very good at all since he is already behind with an output anyway. He's pulling ahead though, because um, if you didn't, if you didn't if you, I think it's like the first six drones or first 12 drones, something like that. Some early amount of drones, they bring in a lot more, uh, a lot more resources per probe than like if you have 30 probes on this base, because 30 is like the max probes you want to have on any base, and uh, if 30 probes on this base compared to like 24 to 6 or like 20 to uh, 10, you're gonna be making more minerals because uh, the first like you know, some amount of probes, like 6, 10, or something like that, gets more minerals per probe. So that's why I see a lot of good players take probes off their main when they expand, put them onto a expansion, and uh, that'll get them more resources per probe. So that's the more efficient way. That's why people do that, and it looks like Nevergast did that. But, uh, he's gonna need uh, some kind of miracle, because this army is moving in. And that was a very, very bad right there. He moved right past the enemy. And unfortunately, he's attacking the Nexus. He's just now moving. He's going to take this Nexus out before his army even gets there. So, I mean, even if he could... Oh, that Nexus is... That's very, very bad for uh, Nervous. Because he just expanded. So now he's going to pull ahead economically. As well as he's been uh, ahead all game. So, I'm not sure if he's even gonna be able to beat this. They're warping some motherfuckers fast. Two stalkers and immortal might do good. He is supply capped because that nexus went down. So that blocked his supply. So he wasn't able to warp in his full potential. This guy's warping in, he's killing, he's raping, he's massing units. Oh, and he's got an immortal. So it's almost dead though. It's not gonna go down, he's gonna recharge those shields, and you guys are all gonna die. As he chases them to the death, hopefully now I guess can build some units quick. So you really gotta be kind of boosting these out. He's got some energy saved up, he can kind of boost some units, but here comes the army. Here they come. This, is, uh, this could be it, folks. This could be it. He's making his final push out. He's amassed a little. Oh, those probes, those probes. Get out of there, get out of there. Get out, get out, get out. No, 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 no. They're dead, they're dead, they're dead. He killed us, probably killed us. Oh my god. Oh my god. And he's got two immortals. He's got one immortal, and it has a low health but full shield. So, we're gonna say I'm not gonna. I don't think this army can hold it up. Oh, he didn't kill those. He let them live. So now they're just kind of sneaking around. Sneaking around. You should have ran with those. Oh, they run right in, and they're dead. One thing. Oh, he got a little bit of a hit right there, but not going to do a lot since it's just damaging shields. Let's recharge them. And it's going to chill. Chill action. He's got two models, so he has, he, does, he has no advantage. Extreme disadvantage. He got shields stopping that model from backing up. The model goes down. Everything goes down. And uh, this looks like it could be it. This could be it. It's right. never guessed dying. I mean, that economically. Even if he was a you know, miracle, he'll to hold this off, which he's not going to be able to. Um, he just said. Uh, Huge advantage, he's got an expo, it's over, like, no matter what. So this is over, over. Over. this is dead, 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 dead. And that kind of sucks because this is probably the closest matchup we've had in the tournament, going a 1-1. Now 2-1 with OID advancing. So now OID in my bracket. The next games are gonna be me versus OID. And you know, I was a little bit I'm a, I mean I'm a little bit nervous, you know. That's it. This guy doesn't look too bad. He knows to get mortals versus PvP because most people go stalkers. So 
getting immortals early is a very good strat versus PvP, or it's a pretty safe strat because, like, most people are gonna. So, immortals wreck stalkers. Like, they give you a huge advantage if you have stalker versus stalker army. Um, if immortals are done in there, they're gonna give you a really nice advantage. So, that's why I get this early in PvP, and he already knew that. So, I mean, he's not a complete retard noob. Um, and he did beat Nick. Never get his totally bad, but, uh, so, got me a little first, I'm gonna have to face the guy. And, uh, yeah. And we really should have left already. He's dead. Like, yeah. And, there's the G, there's the G, G, the G, G, G. there's the G, 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 G. G. Yeah, 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 yeah.